What is the formal language? If they take the set of some symbols and uh, after this we will uh, build from this set all, pa all possible subsequences, finite subsequences, all these symbols. And uh, if we take some subset of this constructed set of uh, subsequences, uh, this concrete uh, subset will rep represent some language. Or uh, in a different way, if they take, uh, if they have a set of uh, some symbols, and we can construct words from these symbols by taking the uh, subsequences of these symbols. And uh, if uh, they create some new set uh, which consists of some words of uh, this, uh, which consists from these symbols, this will be the language. So actually this is just some set of words constructed with this uh, from the uh, symbols. If we review some concrete uh, language, formal language uh, with its words, uh, these words uh, called well-formed uh, words or well-formed well formulas of this language. So, another uh, words, this is the words which belongs to this concrete formal language. How can we define these words? If they have the alphabet, how can, can we define these words? Uh, of course, we can just uh, explicitly uh, write the set with our hand uh, with the set of all possible uh, words of this language. But this is very tedious because uh, there can be many, many of such words uh, which we can construct from some set of characters. Uh, and that's why it is easy to provide some set of rules or a, a, a algorithm which can generate from these characters uh, the all possible uh, set of words of the concrete language. And uh, this thing is called formal grammar. Uh, what is the difference between a formal language and informal language? Uh, the informal language uh, in which we talk with other people, it, it is very um, informal, it is uh, very fusy, okay, and uh, it is um, It is somehow like a living organism. It evolves with the time and has no. Uh, it is very difficult to see some structure and determine structure inside it. And that's why it is very difficult uh, with this language to uh, describe some uh, computer program. Okay which must be um, defined very precisely. On the other hand, the formal language is uh, defined very precisely and they uh, when they describe the computer program uh, with the formal language, we can uh, say to a machine that uh, how can uh, it um, check that this is the correct uh, words or this uh, language or not uh, and in the terms of programming if you uh, write something wrong this will be not well formed formula uh, and computer can check this and then uh, this is uh, written in a good way this is a well formed formula this means that uh, your program is uh, compiles and that's uh, okay it can be executed